First of all, uh, I want to thank you for having given me the opportunity of uh, expressing my views. My views may not be the views uh, of the, um, everybody, but uh, I think that we, we are in, uh, in the process of uh, modifications or changes in things that uh, I'm very excited about. I think that uh, in the 15 years from now, we should try to understand something that is important, that, that we are um, too much involved in uh, in uh, prostheses and things that are there, and they should be like that, because uh, not always that we use a prosthesis, that means that it will work. And uh, I think that one of the, uh, of the challenges that we have is to, uh, to accept or to accept, no, to, to go into a definition, a part of the definition of what the indications are. I don't know, if, I don't know you, but uh, in here in this country, 70% uh, of the distal radial fractures get uh, a volar plate fixation. And we assume that this is the, the right uh, way to go. And we place uh, always uh, the, the same type of uh, plate. And the plate then, it has uh, problems. And uh, we tend to believe that the problems are because I am not that good in placing that. And it's not true. I mean, there are many indications for not operating patients. And uh, we should understand that. Uh, we have uh, gone through a process of uh, making every time more complicated uh, the, the treatment of uh, the thing. And that treatment uh, should be real and, uh, and reanalyzed because most of the time we are uh, performing excessive surgery. On the other hand, why should we uh, save money? We should save money because um, because otherwise, uh, you know, here in Europe, for instance, at this moment, there are 14 million people above 85 years old. 14, 15. In uh, 15 years from now, I mean, in, in 2014, 2050, that number will be double as much. We will have 40 million people above that type. And if we are treating everything uh, the way we are doing now, that would be a, a crash. It would be a disaster. So we should learn the uh, we should learn the lesson, even from from other areas, in which we decide. Well, what's the point of doing all all replantations that we get? You know, what's indicated? What it is not? The problem, for instance, of. Um, replantation of a finger, let's say the index finger, the tip of the index finger, probably that needs to be uh, reassessed. And, uh, and the more we do it, we will realize that there is much more that to be done than just the operating all the cases. So uh, in short, I think that we should tend to reanalyze re the, the indications of what we are doing. Oh, humility. Basically, humility. I've learned to be human. Uh, I mean, uh, there are so many, so many excellent uh, places that treat well. And we thought uh, necess uh, by necessarily uh, taking the advice of uh, our of the, the the leaders of this, that uh, I become more more humble in the sense that uh, I accept that there are other ways of doing things. Mm, yeah, uh, I'm I'm so positive that uh, the future should be based on the right indication, 
and uh, be careful or not not imposing our views uh not imposing our views and accept that the others may be also right many cases that uh, I've been facing difficulties myself and uh, whoever has not this is a superman that I don't believe in that everybody has to face the, the problem well probably I would say that uh, in the last few years I've been teaching on the on the value of um, uh, examination full examination of the cases Particularly in uh, the RUJ and uh, the RUJ and the FCC, I think it's probably where most have changed. I was, a, as anybody else, I was uh, very keen on performing a thoroscopy in uh, anything that, that, that looked unstable. I say, I say it right. When it looks unstable, it doesn't mean that it's unstable. And uh, in those cases, I was... Uh, in the first, uh, somebody was coming here and, and I have a dislocal or an unstable, displaceable little uh, radius and carpers relative to the owner. I was always thinking, well, that the DFCC, I'll have fun. And I was setting for surgery and was uh, doing surgery. And surgery was usually. Uh, a problem that uh, I realized that it was not true. I mean, we were so simplifying the owner side breast pain that we didn't understand that uh, probably that that the tear that we could see in the TFCC was not exactly what was uh, the problem. Um, there's a case that I've published uh, and has been all over that uh, it was a distal radial joint uh, instability uh, in a young and it was a type uh, 1B uh, peripheral detachment of the TFCC and we went there and we performed that uh, capsular reattachment technique that, uh, that uh, was described by, by my friend uh, Bill Geisler. And uh, it failed, and I was strongly believing that probably it was my fault, so we went back and uh, we did an operation by the bowler approach because we thought that the, ball, the bowler site was also damaged. And we found uh, in, in effect that there was a, a great, great um, detachment of that portion, and we did the bowler approach and we we set uh, some, uh, some um, screws uh, to, to get that fixed and the patient went worse and went worse, it was painful, it was absolutely a disaster. And then we went uh, to see uh, the MRI, the initial MRIs, and, and we found out that the MRI was showing clearly that aside from the TFC there was also an issue dislocation. Not only that, uh, it was completely dislocated, and there was that the typical, typical situation in which we tend to to believe that there is a dorsal, the RUJ dorsal subluxation, and then yeah, we look it carefully, and there were some arthritic changes, and that was the the problem. I mean, uh, what I learned from that was that um, you you should not, you should not think that the case that it's clearly diagnosed as such and so, this is not always the case. And, and we should always step back and say, let's see how it's uh, the tent. Let's see how is that the, 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 um, the distal radius uh, geometry. If there is um, a deformity or deformity, if there is some cartilage uh, Cartilage problem. If there is, uh, if there is some muscle uh, derangement or tendons subluxation, everything needs to be incorporated into the diagnosis and to look holistically in uh, uh, the case as, as it is. And then using that um, 
that the global uh, global algorithm that uh, we work with um, with Sandeep uh, Kakar. Uh, I think that that was uh, the most important case that uh, I realized that we we should go this way. I mean, do not leave. Do not uh, make the diagnosis easy because it's, it's so evident. Uh, in that case, it showed me a lot, uh, a lot, and, and also it, it, uh, it taught me to be humble again. Uh, you should never say, I know the answer. You may suspect that you know the answer, but always be kind and, and see if there is something else. An exceptional weekend would be one that I have uh, some friends coming in, friends, I mean, hand surgeons, and we discuss these things. I mean, I'm a, I'm a compulsive uh, socialist, socialist in the same, in the same, in the sense of uh, sharing our, our, uh, our knowledge and so on. So that would be. But of course, uh, that's not the case. Uh, sometimes I have a weekend that I am, at this moment, for instance, I am here in, um, up in the mountains of, um, of uh, Pyrenees Mountains, and we are just relaxing and reading books and this thing. My favorite movie probably if I had to pick one, I would say that uh, Kurosawa's uh, Barbarroja is a movie that uh, is telling us uh, how much Barbarroja was a uh, surgeon who dedicated his entire life in curing or, or in attending patients in uh, Persia. And uh, uh, it's a movie that is very well done. And uh, it shows uh, how important it is to be medicine rather than a specialist. I mean, uh, he says that that there are too many specialists already and too few, too few medicines. Because um, uh, I have a friend here who is uh, always saying that there are three Bs that are important. One is the brain, the other one is the body, and the other one is the behavior. And the behavior, the one that uh, relates to the others, the people who is uh, among us, is uh, so important. So that uh, that uh, Barbara Rojo would be one of my preferred. Uh, my second preferred uh, book would be, I don't know, these I have so many. Um, I've, uh, if I need to have fun, if uh, I want to have fun, I always take the Quixote. The Quixote, it's fantastic. It's a man uh, that it, it looks crazy, but uh, as a matter of fact, the crazy people is the one that surrounds Quixote. And uh, I like that also. Quixote would be one, and the other one, the, the movie would be Barbaroja by Akira Kurosawa. <laughs>